Welcome to Real Physics. You know, my channel is about fundamental physics, but sometimes you have to call out the nonsense that is floating around in contemporary theories. And for that reason, in my cheeky book, Bankrupting Physics, I have a subchapter called A Beginner's Course in Scientific Logic. There is a paradox that theoretical astrophysicists use to fool themselves, which traces back to the philosopher Carl Gustav Hempel. Let's consider the statement, all ravens are black. Now, to be strictly logical, consider an equivalent claim that everything that is black is not a raven. However, things become a little more complicated as you look up for supporting evidence for this law of nature. Observing a black raven surely speaks in favor of the validity of this law, but by the logic of the equivalent statement, a white shoe would also be evidence that all ravens are black, because it's not black and it's not a raven. Our common sense will suspect that something is wrong here, because a white shoe would also provide evidence for a law that all ravens are yellow. As scientists, we might agree that if you want to learn something about ravens, it's advisable to observe ravens. By the same token, the non-observation of something presents a logical pitfall, because it allows us to conclude literally anything. That's what is happening when interpreting the non-observation of magnetic monopoles, seen by Alan Gutt as support for inflation theory. Sorry, but the non-observation of such cloud castles just favors one conclusion, that they don't exist. I'm still stunned how Gutt could impress the entire elite of US universities with this raven black logic. Nonetheless, the fantasies supported by non-observations are continually spreading.